Hello everyone, t 978 In this review, it's going to be Star Wars The Black Series, Star Wars The Mandalorian, Ahsoka Tano. t 978 Chill Review. Here is the artwork right there. You see that? Isn't it awesome? That's the bio if you want to pause and read that. But that's all you're going to see from the box. I'm about to throw that shit in the dress. Here she is. Here is Ahsoka Tano. Look at that face. Doesn't it look just like the show? Doesn't her whole outfit look like just like the show? She comes with two accessories. Unless you want to include the fact that you can take the blades off. Now she has four accessories. Why can you take these blades off? Because she has these little tiny ass nubs right here. That can barely... Get these tag pegged on. Like barely, barely, barely. I don't even know why they made these little pegs. These little. Normally they make them in the shape of hooks. But you see all the effort it's taken for me to do that. And then once you get them on there, they're flared out to the side. So it doesn't really look all that great, Tim. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. Anywho, let's give you a once over on her herself. I'm gonna zoom in on that. The digital face print is nice. The eyes. I don't know if you guys pay attention to this. Like she's kind of cockeyed in real life. And on the show, she was definitely cockeyed. I, I think they got her eyes a little bit more straight than what I remember from the show. They're like very spread apart. But here's this. Here's the sculpting on this stuff. Let's start at the feet with our little ninja shoes right here. With the armor, isn't that cool? I do have this twisted a bit. Because he does have rotation at the thigh. You get this detail right here. When you do that, it shows that detail. Well, let's show the back. There's that detail. And yeah. She has a lot of hidden joints, which is cool. Like I couldn't even tell that this whole thing is a butterfly joint, the whole thing. I haven't had butterfly joints like this since the Amazing Spider-Man where you can push it so far you can see the peg sticking through from her shoulder joint. But it goes back a lot as you can see. And if you twist this this way, she can even less less do it like this. Now turn it. She can come inward a little bit. Well, of course, you can rotate like that. And the elbows. And when you have them straight, it's slightly, <clears throat> slightly above 90. The wrists rotate on a pig. And they go down and up for them lightsaber poses. The waist is on a ball joint. So she gets all of that. All that right there inside. Side tilts, back tilts. The legs can go out, almost do a full split. They can come forward. They can go back. Like I showed, she has the thigh rotation right there, which she almost doesn't need because she has the knee bend and the knee bends like this. And it swivels. That's why she doesn't really need that swivel in the thigh so much. The feet come forward. They come back. And ankle pivot. Wes Dixon Jr. has been sending me pictures on Facebook Messenger to let me know that Hasbro or the, the Black Series team has a habit of making the knee bend in the wrong place where the shin is not as long as it should be. But, um, hmm, you can't really tell with this figure. I think he's probably trying to sublimin subliminally put that in my mind so I can talk about it in my reviews and 
maybe Hasbro will see and be like, oh yeah, that is a problem. But little does he know, Hasbro don't even know I exist. So good luck. Good luck. But anyway, as you can see, she looks good. Holding these. Oh, I didn't show the neck. The neck is on a dumbbell at the top and it's on a ball at the bottom. So she can, it like rocks like that. She can mostly look down. Can't really look up because you, as you can imagine by these little pigtail things, they it's made out of a pliable material, but not pliable enough. It's more pliable at the tip. They should have just been pliable, period. I would even suggest putting a joint in the back of this so it will get out the way. I don't know why. Why don't these companies think about stuff like this? Like with this big hair, you could have easily put some kind of hinge or joint in there. It's not like they're breaking the bank with the articulation here. They have scrapped a ton of articulations. These things used to have all of them. I believe used to have double jointed knees. Now they just got the hinge swivel. And then they don't have like ab crunch or whatnot. It's just a ball right here on this. This one at least. I mean it's parody with their smaller figures. But as far as a big figure. I'm used to getting certain types of articulation. I mean it, it works good enough. But yeah. Needless to say, she can like turn her head sideways, but you're going to have to use her waist to make her like truly look up. And I don't know this expression or lack thereof. For whatever reason, it's cool with her. Actually, in the show, she didn't really have that much of an expression on the show. She was just looking stoic like this. So that's not a, a big problem. And at this point, since I've shown everything, I guess I should get some type of comparison. My dreaded, most hated part of videos. It's like, I love it in other people's video, but kitten figures that aren't in the same room with you suck. As it turns out, I do have a couple of figures in here. This is Blue Stripe Package and Chewbacca right here. Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. Marvel Legends Luke Cage. Here's Claire Temple. I'm not sure if she's an accurate height, but yeah. And here's Angry Annie right there. But anywho, um, the figure is sculpted nice. When I pulled her out of the packaging, she had a super duper toxic smell. It has seemed to wear off. My biggest gripe with her is the neck articulation. I wish they engineered something in there to make her have better neck articulation. Technically they tried because she has all the best type of neck articulations with the ball joint in the, in the base and the dumbbell at the top. But with the head piece, they didn't incorporate anything new to make it actually usable. The other articulation, I can get around that, but the, the head not being able to move in every direction is limiting. But yeah, I like her. Um, only thing she could have come with extra is maybe a cloak or something. And I wouldn't be shocked if that's a special edition figure down the line or if it already exists and I just don't know about it. But anyway, I got this on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link in the description to where you can find her on Amazon if you're lucky. Every time you click on one of my Amazon links and you actually make a purchase and it ships and you don't send it back, it, I get a little bit of change from that. And it doesn't even have to be the thing that I sent you to. If you click on that link, go to Amazon and buy anything, it, that still counts. So thank you in advance. Until next time, TMAN978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos.
videos, you really should click those videos. Click the tree.